Ten scary creatures caught on camera. Not all creatures are cute puppies and kittens, you know. There are these guys as well. <laughs> some are real animals. Some have more of a questionable existence, but they do have one thing in common. They're enough to frighten the bravest of men. All right, we're starting off. One. All right. I dare you to cross paths with this hunk of a bird. Why did there you get that close? If you actually saw that in real, if you actually saw a fucking gremlin sitting under a rock, why would you get up to it with an iPhone flashlight? Fuck that. This video was taken by two teenage girls on break from work. They decided to drive around to pass the time when they found themselves driving through a cemetery in Akron, Ohio. All of a sudden, they saw this black figure seemingly digging into one of the graves. They observed the thing for a bit before they decided to record it, and it's a good thing that they is did. Is it just someone digging? No one seems to know what this creature captured on the video is. Is Since it just a, a human being digging? <laughs> Can't have shit in Detroit. It's just a human. Human being digging. All right, cool. Yeah, first one solved. Cool. It was first up on a channel dedicated to Sasquatches. Word spread that it was a juvenile Sasquatch digging for food. Number nine, the Sarlacc Pit. What? One look at this picture, and your mind will be immediately transported to a time long, long ago in a galaxy far, far away. Though it'll take you specifically to the deserts of Tatooine if you're a Star Wars fanboy. If you remember that what scene where Luke and a blinded about? Han were about Scary to be thrown into the Sarlacc on pit, camera. Okay. that is what this photo exactly reminds me of. This is actually the insides of the mouth and throat of a leatherback turtle. Leatherbacks and a few other sea turtles have what is called esophageal papillae. That's what those spine-like things that you see are. Oh, just the These teeth prongs the are made of cartilage and line the throat of the turtle, and basically grip- Scary creatures caught on camera. Literal herbivore. Cool. So these cartilaginous prongs keep the turtle from being injured by its prey. <laughs> the fact that turtles eat jellyfish is such bad luck. Who knew that <laughs> the thing that we would pollute most in the ocean is plastic bags, which look exactly like jellyfish if you don't have highly complex eyes. Such bad luck to have your main prey look exactly like the things that we're polluting the ocean with. This shocking trail cam footage shows us a large, hairy, ape-like creature brushing up against the camera. It then proceeded to rip the camera off of its mount and bury it under leaves. This strange animal, and of course, its baffling behavior, made people think that this is no ordinary creature, but one uh, who exhibits just, extraordinary Just for once, give me something with any people decent quality. People immediately point to Bigfoot as Please. the culprit, because really, who wouldn't? To top it all off, even the police officers who originally set up the camera to catch illegal marijuana growers think it's Bigfoot. <laughs> even the police seven. officers think it's Bigfoot. The devil. Because police officers are known experts in cryptozoology and just zoology in general. <laughs> gecko. They're really Maybe trained. it's the littlest eyes, or maybe the tiny little horns. Wait, what? Or gecko? the way its vertical pupils stare into the depths of your soul. Or the bright red insides of their mouths. Whatever the reason, the satanic leaf-tailed gecko truly deserves its name. A leaf-tailed gecko is in your top 10 scary creatures caught on camera. A literal aquarium terrarium pet that many people have. Okay. It's actually for camouflage. The satanic leaf-tailed geckos <laughs> Not live solely scary, in trees Willy. thanks to their sticky toes. Not only are the bottoms of their toes made of <laughs> they millions- They sticky toes, their tail looks like a leaf, and their face is cute as hell. How is this the top 10 scary creature caught tiny on plates, But they also have curved claws for extra grip. These plates allow movement across smooth vertical surfaces like glass. If that doesn't provide enough holding power, the satanic leaf-tailed gecko can also use its tail to wrap around branches. Wow! During the day, these geckos use a variety of tactics Nothing to stay scarier safe from than predators rabbit. like Why is eagles, the music so intense? and rats. Besides camouflage, they can also flatten their bodies to minimize their shadow, open their jaws while they show their bright red mouths, or shed their tail and run away. Numbers. That's insane! That is insane that in the top 10 scary creatures, you have a leaf-tailed gecko. I... I... Like, what research was done that leads to that? Like, I'm trying to think of any possible way that you can get to that. Why would they even know that that species exists, let alone choose it for this? Are they just Googling random animal species? Six. The demon in the cave. Wh what when is When you go this? caving, what do you expect to find? Maybe a few strange insects, oh, bats, caves, and some dude. strange animals Why are that you've you never seen that? before. Why would you? In many Why? cases, you'll find Why? a whole lot of nothing. Why? But whatever the case, Why? maybe you'll never expect to find something... Unnatural. Uh, 
First uploaded in 2013, this video is from the YouTube channel Battery Phil. Aww. According to the description, the YouTuber was using a tiny flashlight and a small keychain camera to explore one of the small caves near Jamestown, Arkansas. Nope. You have to note that he didn't enter the cave himself, as it was too small but sent the flashlight and camera instead. <laughs> As he reviewed the footage at a later time, what he saw terrified him to his bones. He claims to have caught a demonic face peeking out of a hole in the cave wall. The camera is understandably <laughs> very shaky. I think he's just a rock, I gotta but... Admit, I do see some semblance of a face there, with large, dark eyes. Yeah, it's probably a Whether demon. Whether this YouTuber demon. captured a demon or not, pretty terrifying. <laughs> Number five. Makes more sense than it being a rock. Monster in the dark. Okay, frilled shark. It's dusk. Okay, I may have gotten a little bit carried away with my intro, but surely this terrifying <laughs> it's just a dark frilled death shark. deserves- You are never going to find a frilled shark snorkeling. I hate to tell you this, you are not going to snorkel deep enough in the ocean to find a frilled shark. It. They usually live about 1,500 meters down in the depths of the oh, ocean. Oh, they just chill. But if you're at the right place at the right time, the exact scenario I depicted earlier may happen to you. Nope. Sometimes, for very brief moments, one of these prehistoric-looking monsters can be found swimming off the coast of Japan at just between 50 to 200 meters deep. The rarity of this yeah, shark means Yeah, because humans go 50 meters deep while snorkeling. That happens. Not much is known about it. For all we know, it might be even more bloodthirsty than the Great White or the Tiger Shark. It's not. But then again, it not, shouldn't need to be. None of them are bloodthirsty to be already. clear, but it is definitely not Number bloodthirsty. Number four. The Cowering Goblin. <laughs> a goblin is a <laughs> monstrous creature from European folklore. This video was uploaded to the channel Unknown Barbados back in 2017. In this video, you'll see one person using an app on his phone. By the looks of it, its use seems to be a paranormal detector. Whether ghosts or goblins, we can't be sure. However, it seems to have worked as it pointed them to look under I can only describe <laughs> as the foundation of an unfinished house. Yep, that as looks one of real. the guys turned his flashlight on, a creature can be seen crouching in the dark yep. who seems to be displeased about being discovered, uttering an otherworldly hiss to display his displeasure. Number three. That's it. Okay. The scary monk. We the fish monkfish. for many reasons. Aside from looking like it was spat oh, like out by the devil fish. himself, monkfish have a number of adaptations which make them adept at catching their prey. Wow, the that's a big The protuberance, which comes from their head, I think they get bigger than that, but that's cool looking. In any direction, I don't think I've ever seen one in person And is that used big. to attract small fish, which think it is something to eat. Wow. Once they are in range, the although highly unlikely, it might even decide to take a bite off of a diver's hand. Nope. Now it's time for today's oh, best I pick. Oh, I love today's top pick. Oh, it's not today's Get top to pick, it's today's best pick. Today's I'm best sorry, pick, what? if I'm being totally honest here, reminds me of jerky. The world's scariest looking jerky, but- Is this an umbilical cord or a dick? What is this? The alien corpse. <laughs> this shriveled up creature was seen in the southern coast of Africa. Of course, residents in the surrounding town were aghast, believing they had found <laughs> proof that extraterrestrial life had lived and died on planet Earth. A local veterinarian conducted an autopsy on the creature, and conclusively found out that the shriveled creature was a newborn female baboon. Dead and dried oh, up, of man. course, but still a baboon. So it was an umbilical the cord after all. The tail-like appendage on its stomach was its umbilical cord that was still attached. The Gorilla Bird. The Gorilla nope, Bird? It's not one of the flying monkeys of the Wizard of Oz fame. This is actually a crow, but with an attitude. Okay. If I'm gonna be honest <laughs> with you, if I see this guy in a dark alley somewhere, I'm gonna turn around and... It's a crow, but it's standing on its wings. And go back where it came from. I wouldn't fuck with him. <laughs> the video appears to show a- It's a swole crow. <laughs> ridiculously muscular crow supporting its whole body weight by perching itself on the tips of its muscly wings. Did a gorilla and a crow suddenly decide to have a baby that resulted in this oh. muscly monstrosity? Alright, my guess, if it's real, is that the bird was born with no legs, and so it learned to walk on its wings as like- that's just how it is able to survive. Um, or it could just be fake, but it is a really swole bird, and that's funny. <laughs> Apparently, this is the pose which crows take when sunning themselves. At the right angle, that could obscure the crows legs and tail, making like it look like they're missing, and also make it look like only the wings are supporting the bird. So, not a freak hybrid, just a sunbathing bird. Damn, that's kind of dope. <laughs> I, this video recommended <laughs> 10 dinosaurs caught on camera, and it's a literal fucking... Featherless T-Rex on the back of just a truck. Yeah, okay, man. Whoa.